3. Are you in favor of the adoption of amendment number 2 as proposed by the Planning Board for the Hampton Zoning Ordinance as follows? Amend Article 2, District, Section 2.1, Zoning Map to change a portion of the Business Seasonal Zoning District to a new Business Seasonal 1 Zoning District. Amend Article 3, Use Regulations to add Use Regulations Section 3.44.1 for properties within the proposed Business Seasonal 1 Zoning District that limits the use of the first 25 feet of depth of the ground floor of any building to professional commercial retail uses. Amend Article 4, Dimensional Requirements, Table 2, to add the proposed Business Seasonal 1 Zoning District requirements, which includes a building height allowance of 70 feet, with the exception of unoccupied architectural appurtenances, which may extend to a point no greater than 80 feet in height. Structures would be prohibited from casting shadows on the sand on the easterly side of Ocean Boulevard prior to 6 p.m. from May 15th through September 1st, recommended by the Planning Board. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 3? Moved by Mr. Olson, seconded by Mr. Loopley. Mr. Olson, would you like to speak to Article 3? Well, of our, Article 3 is a proposal <coughs> that we put forward to allow buildings in the business seasonal one zone to be built to a new allowed height of 70 feet with an additional 10 feet for unoccupied appurtenances. Thank you, Mr. Olson. Mr. Nyan, would you like to be heard on Article 3? John Nyan, 2 Walnut Avenue, Hampton. Um, also uh, speaking on this uh, Warren article as the chairman of the Hampton Beach Area Commission. Uh, we have, um, as a commission, worked with the, uh, the planning board um, on this. We've had a, a number of discussions. Um, I applaud the planning board for its uh, recommendation and would like to uh, just go on record to say that the Hampton Beach Area Commission is in full support of this Warren article. Thank you, Mr. Nye. Yes, sir. Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue. I'd like to begin by wishing a happy birthday to our fine town clerk, uh, Lady Jane. Uh, the uh, Hampton Beach Area Commission chairman just spoke on this uh, article of raising the building height limit to 80 feet from the existing 50 feet. He did so as the chairman of the HBAC, Hampton Beach Area Commission. Now note that HBAC is a state entity who's charged with putting into effect the beach master plan. The beach master plan calls for low profile buildings on the beach. So I fail to see how the HBAC is fulfilling its mission by advocating the exact opposite of what's in the beach master plan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Moody. Art Moody, <clears throat> 3 Thompson Road. Uh, I oppose this uh, great increase in uh, height, 60% from 50 feet to 80 feet. All the people in favor of this don't have any of the responsibilities for the resultant congestion, trash, traffic, and sewage. And that sewage problem is big. The pipe across the marsh to the treatment plant will probably have to be increased in size, replaced. And it won't be too long before EPA and New Hampshire DES says, Guy Mill Creek just can't happen. It just can't handle your effluent, the treated wastewater. We've already reduced the outfall pipe to lower it because certain seasons we don't have enough volume of water from Tide Mill Creek. And we're talking about a 20 to 25 million dollar pipe out into the ocean. The wall that you see between J and K Street is going to be worse. It's going to be a wall right along Ocean Boulevard. And we're not just talking about from Epping Avenue near the River Bridge, not that Winnicunnet Road. 
couple, three miles. We're talking about the area north of High Street on Ocean Boulevard, which is also a business seasonal zone on the west side of Ocean Boulevard. This is a great increase, and I think commercial greed is behind it, and I'm opposed. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Uh, I'd like to, I, I think that this article is a good one. Uh, we obviously cannot amend it, so it's going to be an up or down vote. I believe it ought to be an up vote. Uh, this was uh, included in one of the master plans, uh, one of the elements of the master plans, the beach visioning study that was done by Faye Spofford and Thorndike. And as a, a prior chair of the Hampton Beach Area Commission, when that study was done, I can assure you that there was a tremendous amount of input, and this was brought up as a result of a lot of considerations. Uh, it would be naive to think that, the, that Hampton Beach is not going to grow. It doesn't have any room to grow horizontally. It must go up. If it's done in a tasteful manner, if it's done uh, with good restrictions uh, so that it can't go too far, then this is a good way to go. We saw a tremendous design of a building that was uh, uh, not approved because the height was too large. And members of the zoning board said, I'd feel a lot better about this if we had a height limit that was a little higher than what we've got now so that it comes into that area. Uh, I, I would agree that uh, they made a good decision at that time, but uh, this is what they were expecting. They were expecting something that would raise the height limit. This is a practical increase. Uh, it gives a few more stories in one area of the beach. You could also remember that by doing this in this area of the beach, you are protecting the other areas of the beach against random increases in height where, where it is not appropriate. So this, this area is going to be able to uh, uh, handle this height. I think that all of the other concerns that Mr. Moody mentioned will all be incorporated in that by virtue of uh, building standards and codes that we will have to adopt. And I think that this is going to be a modest step forward so that we can improve the beach and make it a place that people will want to continue to come to. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Ms. McNamara. Uh, Brendan McNamara, 15 Island Path, also a member of the Planning Board, Vice Chairman, and I wanted uh, to mention that a lot of thought went into this article. It wasn't just pulled out of the air. It was discussed. We had many, many times meetings and input from the public, anyone that was willing to speak on it. We came up with the best idea that we could, and it's a start. Hampton Beach has to change. It's going to have to come up as time goes on and has to grow. And this was the start of what we thought was the best way to go. So I do support the article, obviously, and I hope that the town and the residents support it as well. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McNamara. Ms. Wolsey? I'm not going to support or, or uh, speak against this article, but I want to put out a caution to the public. Um, once, at the current time, the building height limit is 50 feet. I've watched the zoning board, uh, in addition to serving on the planning board as the selectman representative this year, and I've seen the zoning board members, all of whom are volunteers, unpaid, and like the planning board, they try hard to do their best for the town. I watched the members of the zoning board wrestle with the problem of height. How high do you go? How far above the existing height limit can you go? Can you go a third higher, half higher? And then in the case of the A block proposal for the 100 foot building by Green and Company, the zoning board members could not bring themselves to double the height limit. That was quite a struggle, and they said they wished they had better guidance from the public. What I would say to you is this. If this town votes in favor of a 70-foot height limit, that's just the beginning. That means that developers can go to the zoning board for variances just like they can now, and the zoning board can say, well, then can we go a third higher, half higher, Let's see, uh, half higher would be 105 feet. Can we go two-thirds higher, plus the other 10 feet for the appurtenances? Beware, 
beware. Um, Mr. Uh, Rice was kind enough to say something about this will protect the rest of the beach if we can go higher in this block. No, people can come in next year and the year after and the year after and ask for higher buildings and, and greater heights in other parts of the beach. This could be the open door. Once buildings are built, they're going to be there forever, for as long as we care. Portsmouth is struggling with just this type of problem now. So I would say to you that 70 feet is the floor, not the ceiling. It's not the problem of the public whether or not developers can develop and make money and they cry that they can't, they have to go 10 stories or they won't make any money. That's not the problem of the public in this town. So beware on this article because 70 feet is the tip of the iceberg. Be careful. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Article 3.